course, everyone here wants to make some extra cash during the day, during the month, even a small amount of money, let's say like a few hundred dollars can make life more simple, right? But it's not always easy to make money, isn't it? Because Sometimes either you need to have some skills or you just need to have some time invested, which sometimes we don't have. That is why I really adore machines and equipments that generate income for us, especially those that you can leave alone. Well, the ideal is a moneymaker that is plug and play. So just keep watching if you're wondering what equipment you can get to generate some money for you. There's going to be a lot of these, so you can just choose for yourself which one is good for you. And of course, how much money you can invest up front. Now, first of all, we're going to visit and see some CNC machines. This is one of the most versatile tools on our list and CNC machine allows you to possibly create anything at a very low cost. Some of the advantages of purchasing a CNC machine include its ability to be used continuously, you know, then its ability to be programmed with a design that can then be produced hundreds or even thousands of times. One more good thing about this one is that you can be with less training or with less skill and you are still going to be able to operate this one so you don't need many skills the operator of the cnc machine only needs simple education and training to manage many devices compared to manually operated equipment cnc machines require fewer operators and so cnc machine investment may result in job loss but of course you can just take a small cnc machine program it the way you like there is a simple software that anyone can use even teenagers so you can just go and see what's what and what works for you now the second thing is mini excavator okay Mini excavator, or just a small excavator, is one of the greatest pieces of heavy machinery you can buy if you want to generate some money. Many excavators have a wide range of uses, so you can just use it whichever way you want. They may be used to dig trenches and pits, tear down buildings and more. Additionally, a lot of homeowners want this equipment because it's versatile, you know, it can execute a lot of home repair jobs. Now, the cost is, of course, the biggest entry hurdle here, so that can be a problem because new micro excavators cost between thirty and forty thousand dollars. And additionally, if you're running out your equipment or providing services, you'll need the proper insurance protection. Okay, now some of the benefits. Well, micro excavator can just put you in high revenue. It is in demand. Everyone would use some. Now you can, of course, use your own. You can just go or you can just lease out your equipment. So that's two options for you. Some of the cons of purchasing one, this one, well, it is just expensive. You know, you have to have like a lot of money beforehand to invest if you want to get this done. But it is a really, really cool thing to do. Next one on the list is called tree stump remover. Now, tree stump grinder or remover, this is a top choice if you're looking for some outdoor equipment. And since many people choose to remove trees on their own, they're left with a stump and no tools to remove it. You may provide your own services to the homeowners or you can just rent out your equipment to them so they can use it if you have this tree stump grinder. There are a lot of these from like mini and some like really big ones and the average cost to remove a tree stump nationwide according to the home advisor is 343 dollars additionally you may charge a premium hourly fee because providing this service won't require much of your time it just won't a tree stump grinder typically costs like 200 dollars per day to rent Given that these pieces of machinery only cost like two or three thousand dollars, your investment will be swiftly repaid. Okay, the following benefits can be like in demand service. It is really possible to make passive revenue with this one just by renting it out. Or you can just do your own services as a side of business, as a side hustle, and it is really quick return on investment. Some of the cons, well, you just need a liability insurance at the very least. And of course, you'll need to advertise your business to attract more clients. That's all. Now, this one is maybe the most beginner friendly one because it doesn't take a lot of investment money and you can just get your money real quick. As I've told you, two, three thousand dollars and you can rent it out for, I don't know, 150 or 200. And maybe you can just work it yourself so you can get like $350 per each going out. So it's a side hustle. It is a good one. Now, drones. Undoubtedly, flying a drone is enjoyable. 
but they're also distinctively profitable pieces of machinery. The most well-liked method, we all know that, by using a drone is to make money with photography. So right away you can see that you can rent it out. Drones are often used by photographers for stock images, real estate photography, wedding photography, However, shooting photos is by no means the only method to get money with this one. So, I'm gonna tell you a few of these opportunities. You can deliver products, carry out inspections, offer aerial surveys, use your drone for advertising, spray crops, and more. You know, there's a lot of things. Additionally, if you have extensive drone knowledge, you may buy and sell drones, you can just provide maintenance services, or design flying courses. Now, these courses are unique and they just fetch hundreds of dollars when purchased online. And I gotta tell you, some of these benefits for just purchasing a drone include a variety of methods to just earn money, you know? It's excellent opportunity for some hide hustle for you, some side business, and you can charge really premium prices for this one. Some of the cons, well, it's expensive to start up, and some jurisdictions, they just need a specific license if you wanna fly the drone in their space, and that's it. Now, the next thing that is really good is called coffee roasters. You can buy these like small or big one, and it's a generally a lucrative and smart way for coffee businesses to expand their clientele. The main issue is the initial price, and it can just go from $100,000 and upwards. But these are like only the big ones, but you can just get a small one, get yourself a small one, and you can just offer the services. Now, some of the benefits are that you can provide wholesale accounts that wish to offer or carry your coffee can increase your revenue, you know? In addition to that, your cafe can just bring your brand. You can just give your brands certain exposure by starting your roastery or by using a shared roasting area. Some of the cons can be, well, a lot of people are worried by the noise and the smoke and some other pollutants that are frequently connected with such a facility. So obtaining a place for roastery, well, it sometimes can be really challenging and it's way easier to you for just to take a coffee shop or something like that than it is to just place a roastery. Can be hard. Now, the last thing that I wanted to tell you about is vending machines. And you can see that it can generate $75 of revenue each week and over $300 per month. So if you have five of these vending machines, you can get $1.5,000. I have a video on my channel which can explain to you how to start a vending machine. I can just leave that down in the description. But because this is not like some piece of machinery, we don't have to talk a lot about that. You know what this does. You will, of course, have to maintain these. You will just have to fill them out. That means you will have to visit them often. And of course, it just depends on how many of these you own. And the last thing, which is my really, really good favorite thing, is 3D printer. Now, you will just have to learn a lot about this one. You can purchase these on Amazon or anywhere else. You can just take these like smaller ones for beginning. But trust me, this is a really cool niche really cool category and there can be good money bait. So whatever fits you, go and choose that. There's a lot of possibilities, but of course, stay dedicated. If you start something, don't give up. Just stick to it. I'll catch you.